So Nicole is intentionally avoiding campaigning for Bola Tunubu in River State, APC, PCC. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The Presidential Campaign Council of the All Progressives Congress in River State has blasted the governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in River State, Tonya Cole, of not playing his role as the, as the leaders of the All Progressive Congress Campaign Council in River State. In a press conference that was released by the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council of River State, Tonya Cole was accused of intentionally not wanting to campaign for Bola Tunubu in River State. The All Progressive Congress PCC challenged Tonya Cole to prove them wrong by showing evidence of any radio or television advertisement which is sponsored on behalf of Bola Tunubu. The All Progressive Congress PCC River State Chapter went on to urge Tony Cole to provide any banner that shows a picture of him and Bola Tunubu together. The All Progressive Congress PCC accused Tony Cole of bringing a shame, of being ashamed of campaigning for Bola Tunubu. Speaking for that, Tony Cole was equally accused of not mentioning Bola Tunubu in his campaigns because he believes that those persons who does not support Bola Tunubu in River State will vote for him in the governorship election. Uh, this is quite a tricky one. Tony Cole uh, is, I think, is campaigning for a particular position in River State. I don't know, maybe he's having double mind. He's having double mind because, of course, we all know that River State is um, an APC state. I mean, I said an APC, a PDP state. And of course, we all know how very strong, you know, River uh, PDP is. I don't know if it's trying to, you know, kind of, you know, play in between so that anyone will win, you know, will lose out. <laughs> we don't know. But nevertheless, um, the first time I heard about him, the first time I heard about Tony Cole was when I think he came out accusing, was it, was it when I was accusing Tony Cole or Winky was accusing him? I think end of the so happened. That was the first time I heard about it. But I will tell you that if it is a river state, it is understandable. The PDP river state is really, really strong. But the thing is, why would you be in a party and not be there with all your heart? This is to show you how self-centered our politicians are. I don't want to, to I, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket so that you know if APC wins, you know, I'm still a member of APC. You know, if if, if another party wins, you know, it will not be so pronounced. I can easily come out and say, Oh, after all, I did not even campaign for them. Maybe he's trying to play, you know, safe by sitting on the friends, but I tell you, as a party man, and not just a party man, he is a member of according to the news here, he's a member of um, the PCC campaign the APC PCC campaign council so he's supposed to go all in if you do not want to come out and contest for if you do not want to come out and contest for I mean if you don't want to come out and you know be at the forefront of the campaign I mean why did you accept the post at the first place like I said before or I've said in other news the thing is humans we are naturally self-centered we do things only only when it pleases us we we do more of the things that pleases us and we try to play safe you know to me he's just trying to play my own opinion he's trying to play safe you know so that at the end of the day be it whoever wins either you know the pdp or the apc he can easily come out so after all you know i was a member of an apc pcc campaign and if it is pdp you have to roll i did not really go all out for apc because i know you know now you can really Easily swindled, you know, people with your words. Oh, it was because I was assured that APCPP, um, what's it called, PDP is actually going to win. But nevertheless, if they are all coming out, a main politician, he himself in particular, if he's genuine, it is either you're here or you're there. You don't stay in between. And I think, anyway, <laughs> I was going to say that for politicians who always stay at the middle, you know, they are always like, you know, they don't want to go too forward or they don't want to pull out. Is there like a kind of 
should I say punishment? Because I know it is only when you engage in party activities. That is why I feel he's playing to the, he's, he's sitting on the fence. He's trying to play to the garage, he's trying to play safe. I don't want to lose out on both sides. Because if he, go, if he goes all out for APC, we know WK will never. When it comes to PDP in WK State at the governorship level, ha, WK is going to go all out. You know he's um, having issues with the national schools, those at the top. When it comes to the governorship level, WK is not letting it off its size that easy. Maybe he's trying to play safe, you know. You know, I won't cross carpet. You know, I don't really know Sha, but he's trying to really, really play safe. So that if APC is still win the presidency, okay, you know, then if PDP wins the governorship level, maybe he can do what I call attachment. Or be it at his me only shows the insincerity of our politicians. It means people that kill themselves on top of these politicians matter. <laughs> at the end of the day, you have yourself to blame more. That their pocket and they look for politicians goes to only where they are going to be able to produce honey they're like bees where they're not going to produce honey where it is not going to be beneficial to them you won't find them there you won't find them there you know like i said i i, I just you know wish our um, uh, political parties most especially political parties in nigeria would be of you know what's the sense that you're not like this you know you're not true or you don't how am I going to put it now? You're not really for them. I think they do something about it. If if it is like that, or if it will be like that, you are not you are not doing what you say you are doing. Maybe your words are not actually not harmonizing. Believe you me, um, most of our politicians will be sitting up. Let's say, for instance, you're a member of APC, but they don't see you come out, come all out for them. I mean, they know what to do. Whether you are in any position or not, you know, they kind of, you know, you are kind of shaking up a bit. It is either you go out, you know, you come in. But nevertheless, that's not a bone of contention. I say let us remind those who, timely reminder, if you are, are, are still sitting at the fence, you know, some people have collected a PVC and the little people I've spoken with, some of them are willing to vote. Why some are like, you know, that day, eh, you know, that day, anyhow, we come outside. No, 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 no. I'm, just, I'm here to remind us that we cannot keep complaining without doing anything. You know, the only time we can do that is when you're a baby. Babies, what they do is when they wake up in the morning, they cry for food, to give them food to solve their problem. They cry for maybe they, they, they have, uh, what's it called, they have peed on their pampas or, you know, they, they, their pampas is due for change, the hand. They're no longer a baby. We are now at a position where, and we are in a very critical condition where we need to make decisions. We need to take actions. We don't like where we are in this in our country. We need to do something to make it better. I'm talking to us so that we don't miss out on voting come 25th February. Not just voting, voting wisely and voting smartly as well. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the.